We had to make sure all the information was correct. And? And Jezebel's knife has been located. Does Michael know? I'm waiting. They have a day's head start on us. The mercenaries fail to get me information on the knife. You fail to destroy the girl who is now a voice for my father, and all you can think about is proving how superior you are to Michael. Have I missed anything? Sending half-breeds was a waste of time, and I warned you that they were no match for Michael. Does Michael have the knife's sheath? Yes. He found it when the mercenaries were tracking him, and they didn't even bother trying to take it from him. We'll get it back when he comes for the knife. Are we sure of the knife's location? 100%. 100%. Then we must move quickly. And you're both coming with me to get that knife. And then we will end Michael. You disapprove. No, it's just... It's just what? It's just I'm wondering if Michael's even going to be a problem. Our last encounter with Michael proved he is not going to give up his mission. He is a problem that needs to be eliminated. And we have no room for lost or misguided feelings. Am I clear? Keep an eye on her. You seem tense. If Sam's involved, there's definitely gonna be a fight. And Samuel? What about her? It's obvious her involvement has made things complicated for you. <laughs> yeah, you can say that. Is there more to it? I don't know, brother. She just seems conflicted. So, you think it's a trap? Yeah. <clears throat> You're gonna need more than shadow boxing. This is my space. Ugh. You're losing your human instincts. That's not the tummy I know. You're still thinking about Michael. Do whatever you need to do to get your head back in the game. I can't afford to make this way. Everything okay? Yeah, yeah. It's good. I'll meet you inside. Yeah, you? Go ahead. I don't really feel like fighting right now. Funny. Neither do I. Why are you here? 
I don't know. You don't know. It's honest. Normally I get something a little more snippy. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint, Michael. Walk with me. So I'm guessing that Sam knows about the knife, and he's on his way to get it. I didn't come here to talk about Sam. OK, you don't want to fight. You don't want to talk about Sam. Then why are you here? I here? wanted to see you, Michael. Oh. <laughs> You've seen me plenty. Not like this. What do you want, Tam? What do you want? Let's just leave. Let's just go right now. What about Sam? Sam is obsessed with destroying you, and it's made him excessive. And that is not what I signed up for, Michael. It's not. He thinks he controls me. But I don't take orders from Sam. I don't take orders from anybody. <sighs> I want to be with you. Let's just forget this fight between Sam and Father. I like gave you and the other angels fight this out. We could be happy. We could be free. Huh. I've wanted to hear you say those words for so long. And now they come. And it's too late. I'm not going to leave, Father. Not for you. Not for anybody. There is no freedom without him. Tim. I need to think. Do not follow me. Ready. Ready as I'll ever be. You find some clarity on your walk last night? Yes and no. Are you ready to go? Brother, this is something I'm gonna have to do alone. Okay, but I've got a mission for you, all right? You get this to Tom Cullen. You hand this to him personally. You'll be our number. Mm -hmm. I can help. <laughs> Brother, I know you can. But dealing with Tamil and Sam, that's my priority. Yours is to get that to Colin. And you protect him no matter what. You understand? I understand. All right, brother. Godspeed. me understand my mission to protect you and those who will help you in the revival. For that, I'm eternally grateful. And rest assured, I'll do whatever it takes to make sure that the knife doesn't fall into their hands. We will cross paths again. Until then, my prayers are with you, brother. Michael.
talk to me. We just keep meeting this way. <laughs> I mean, there have not been this many family reunions since the Inquisition. <sighs> Good times. Samael. It's a meal. We're just all business today, aren't we? I hope those guards are all right. Please, I'm not that petty. I'm sure they're just passed out or something. Give it up, Sam. That knife's going with me. Oh, this knife? You see, this is my insurance policy in case any of my family wants to interfere in my business. You think that's gonna stop us? I think so. Mm. Let's just see how devoted Father's minions are when their actual lives are on the line. Give me the knife, Sam. Or I will take it. Do it. Oh, you're gonna run away again like you did last time? I don't remember that. Still think you're the best? You've done nothing to convince me otherwise. <laughs> The knife of Jezebel, stained with the blood of so many prophets. How does it feel to be the one looking up for a change? Finish it. Do it. No! <laughs> Wrong choice. Eyes on me. Killing me won't make a difference. The revival will still go on. But losing you will break Dad's heart. Goodbye, brother. How did you, how did you access that power down here? <sighs> Dear Father, I can do all things. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Were you able to secure the knife? No. Last time I saw it, it was, it was near Tamil. She betrayed Sam. What she does now is anybody's guess. What do you think he meant by we haven't won? I don't know. 
You think Tammy will help him? No, she's not with him. So what does that make her? <sighs> A wild card. Time to go back to the beginning. <laughs>